This is your daily Solana debrief. I'll be covering Jupiter and their LFG second vote launch, who I'll be voting for and why. We'll go over the drama with Sharkify. And we'll also talk about the new token coming from Drift. And there's still a very small section of time when you can go and potentially farm this token. Starting here though with CoinGecko, we can see prices for Sol are around $137 but there is more downside here for sure. As I've mentioned for the last couple of days, if the war with Israel and Iran continues, then prices will likely go down before they come up. Now, Alex has a point here. So he's a very good trader, follows things in terms of the economy and has a very good finger on the pulse. Now, trading is very, very hard. So when you see a trader saying they're gonna buy here and then maybe they buy there and prices go lower, or maybe they say they're gonna short here and then prices go higher, just keep in mind that they normally always will have some sort of stop loss on. So when you look at something like this or any other trader and you think they said this and they were wrong, remember they only have to be right 60% of the time. So quite often the easiest thing is just a dollar cost average, a daily amount, a weekly amount, whatever. Go use dupe.ag, go on dollar cost average and get the tokens you want for the longer term. Nevertheless, Rain has his own support theory monthly support this is for bitcoin 58 to 62k weekly 59 daily 61 to 62 and it mentions it looks cooked though so i would say 52k is the next good support if this happens it's highly likely that solana will be less than 100 dollars now onto the dupe voting news so round two lfg vote kicks off today 5 p.m utc this goes for three days so you have time however we've got six applications here a couple of them are from last month Uprock, Monkey Dex, and Sourceful. And then we've got three new ones. As we go through them all, just keep in mind that none of this is financial advice, but I will give my opinion just for transparency. So first up, we've got Uprock, and I'll be voting for them personally. If we have a look at this tweet here, the most important thing to me is tokenomics. So click on this link right here, and here we can see the tokenomics. We're gonna cover Sharky and the messy situation they did with tokenomics very, very shortly but there's no excuse to do a fix up after the fact. You need to go and be very, very transparent with your tokenomics early on. So we can see there is huge transparency here. I still have a little bit of confusion and I guess I could spend a little bit more time to work it out. But one thing that I like to see is team and advisors, they get their allocation of tokens based on user milestones. They also have a very decent four year vesting schedule. What we don't wanna see in my opinion is an unlock pretty early on within a few months within the first year or sometimes by token generation event we can also see that 50 percent is for the community of course this is going to be rolled out with a decent amount of time and we know that this has the potential to actually push the app to get millions of installs and a lot of revenue for the actual application that can then go in to being bought back and things like that so we can see here we've got some sort of buyback and burn mechanism which means that the token becomes deflationary They've got a big thread on why voting for Uprock. I think they've done the decent thing here by giving lots of information. Team, technology, traction, tokenomics, etc. This is all about growing deep in. This has a use case. It's working. It has a product. This is where my vote is going for this month. Next up, we have Solana ID. We've also got Monkey Dex. And we've got Nine Heroes. There are two winners every month with the LFG launchpad. Nine Heroes will win. They will get the most number of votes. They're a Web3 game that's really cool. So my desire is for Uprock to get the second place. They will have a lot of competition from Sanctum though. I love Sanctum. They do liquid staking tokens and validator.com is looking at doing a liquid staking token with them. Remember to go and stake your soul, stake it with validator.com. So I will be covering this more in other videos. However, there's no information whatsoever on their tokenomics. There's nothing. They've got a decent raise. They've been around since 2021. And because there's no transparency, it's very foolish in my opinion to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Because they've been around for quite some time, we have no idea if their tokenomics will actually mean that there's gonna be unlocks already now, which means that sell pressure immediately. And personally, I think no project should be allowed to launch with the LFG launchpad unless their tokenomics are transparent. We'll cover this shortly when we go over Sharky. The last vote you can go with is Sourceful. There's no dupe call today, by the way. This is going to be changed to Friday. We don't know the exact time yet, but sometime on Friday, I'll let you know tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, I'll let you know Friday. By the way, just to clear out something that's very, very easy to understand, 
but active staking rewards, this is how you actually get rewards from launches such as Sharky. So Sharky did not give Sharky tokens to the people that actually voted for them or even just voted in the first round. There's no expectation to do that. So what actually happens is 1% of the supply of Sharky, it goes to Jupe. So it goes to Sayong and the team there. And then 75% of that, so 0.75% of the entire supply, that goes to the Jupe DAO and the Jupe team keeps the other 25%, so 0.25% of the entire supply. And then they get rewarded to the community every few months. And then the rewards go to the community on particular dates, such as in July, we're expecting an active staking reward, you know, payday, which will have some Jupe, some Wen, some Zeus, and it will have some Sharky most likely. I say most likely because maybe, just maybe, Sharky comes a few months later. Unlikely, but maybe it does. Who knows? So what you'll see is a lot of people asking, why didn't I get any Sharky? And this is because they got Zeus. And the reason they got Zeus is because Zeus was extra generous. There was no expectation. You'll still be getting some Zeus in July if you've been staking your dupe and actively voting. Having said all that, there are incentives to try and get people to vote. As an example, Uproc are giving extra tokens if you vote for them. Now onto the drama from Sharkify. Now to be perfectly honest, they deserve all of the drama. 100% they deserve all of the drama. This is not unfounded. So Rastuda, the founder building Sharkify, initially put out a couple of posts along the lines of, don't fud up, tell us what we can do better, etc." And here we've got this post here. Okay, opening floodgates. What do you think we can do to help our community feel more rewarded? Essentially, if you owned a Mad Lad or an SMB, you've got a decent allocation of tokens compared to even if you use the actual platform or had a Sharky. It was completely stupid and it's a product that was done so poorly and it was a model of tokenomics that was done so poorly that I'm not actually sure if the price will ever recover. It's not an impossibility, you can fix it, but I just don't think that it's a likelihood. Anyway, this post is good. They've decided to add some team vesting because essentially I am pretty sure people have already been selling the tokens from the team. I haven't verified it, I've just seen it on Twitter, so you can take it as hearsay. They're also airdropping some shark to your wallets if you own an actual shark NFT. And if you're a bit of a whale holding 10 or more, then you get 750. And then if you stake 1000 shark, you get 1000 plus in rewards. I don't know how this works and I'm probably not gonna take time to work it out. All I know is they do have staking and it could be worth you doing it. Meanwhile, this is something that could be worth my time and I'll go into it quickly in the actionable section of this video. But there's $50,000 in USDC and LP incentives for the shark and USD pool. This goes for four weeks. We'll evaluate this towards the end of the video. Earth from Another Sun is a game that's building on Solana. They're building using GameShift, and I have no idea what their timeline is, but this game looks really, really cool. So I hope they have the funds to push this out really, really quickly, as opposed to, and no criticism here, but as opposed to Star Atlas, they've been building for a few years, and they're still gonna be quite a bit of time away from actually releasing something like this. Phase one of the Steppen and Adidas Raffle Mint is now live with more. By the way, I mentioned this the other day, but there's a DeFi Llama extension here. Go and grab this, I'll leave the link below. This saves you a lot of effort in working out if there's any scam Twitters around. So as an example, this one here from Steppen is actually not Steppen, it's a fake Steppen, and it is marked as red, and they've got this fake website here. This of course is real, completely real. Let's have a quick look and see what the cost of this is. So we'll come here, click on play. So you can either use FSL points or 10,000 GMT. This is very expensive. There's 200 items and there's currently 5,782 tickets. And this raffle ends later today. This essentially will only work out for you if you're actively playing Steppen, if you've got a decent amount of GMT or a decent number of FSL points. If not, just skip it. Exciting news from the Jito Foundation, introducing the enhanced UI for StakeNet, which allows you to see all the different validators as they're processing blocks on the Solana blockchain in real time. This is really, really cool. Once again, stake your soul with validator.com. Validators, they're what keeps Solana running. Mining with ore has been paused effective immediately to focus on the development of V2. Gaiman has surpassed 400,000 downloads this is more for Web2 gamers. Of course, if you've got a decent GPU, you can download and use this as well. 
but this is more, in my opinion, to bring Web 2 into Web 3 without them even knowing about it. Now the actionables for the day. Number one, vote in dupes LFG round two. You've got three days. Do this with all of your wallets that have dupe in them. You may have dupe in extra wallets that you don't realize about. So go and check all your wallets, ensure you've claimed your dupe, go and stake it, and then go and vote. Next one, I've mentioned this over the last few days, but sign up for Parcels Drip. Next one, stake Soul with validator.com. This is not financial advice, but when you see prices with Soul going down and down, sometimes it's easy just to ignore it all and hope that things go up again soon. Whereas in reality, someone's buying this Soul, and the people that are buying this Soul, they're normally the smart people, the smart money. So buying a little bit every day, or a couple of times a day, or a week, or a couple of times a week, whatever you want, just a dollar cost average approach. As soon as you get 0.5 sol or one sol, just go and stake it inside your phantom wallet. Next, claim any Zeus from dupe voting. If you go to lfg.dupe.ag forward slash Zeus, you should see this up here. Scroll on down. You can see we've got until tomorrow, 9 p.m. GMT plus eight. I, this may be Singaporean time, I'm not really sure. Either way, we've got until tomorrow to go through any of our wallets. You can of course use airdropped.link, check and make sure you claim this. Maybe it's 10 Zeus, maybe it's 100 Zeus, but if you don't claim it, you'll lose it. And the final actionable is maybe USDC and Sharky LP with Meteora. Let's just quickly check this out in terms of the price. So firstly, we need this link. It will be below, but this is a pool that's getting incentives. It has $50,000 worth of rewards for four weeks and the TVL is only $234,000. So this could be pretty decent. Now we'll go to birdeye.so and we'll have a look at the shark price just to see how it's doing. I of course want every project on Solana to do well. However, I have to be transparent and I have to make sure that it's made known when there are issues with a project. Now let's disregard the launch because launches are always quite a bit higher. That's why I suggest it's probably a good idea to use whales.market to sell any pre-allocation of tokens and then buy back cheaper because people are FOMOing in and they tend to pretty much every case go lower immediately after. So from $1 down to 44 cents, it's sitting around here. It means the fully diluted market cap is currently at 44 million. This could be a decent time to actually jump in. Okay, so I do have a small amount of USDC in this pool. Let's go and have a look and see, is this actually worthwhile you jumping in? This is a pilot program. I'm not sure exactly how you will be rewarded with this USDC, but I might just jump in anyway. Okay, so let's go and add some liquidity. I'm going to add a couple of different curves. So firstly, I'm going to turn off autofill as I have no Sharky. Of course, I'll be buying some. I'll go with spot $50, add the liquidity here. This is just as an experiment. What will this $130 turn into? I'll take note of it now. We'll check it in a week's time and then we'll check it in two weeks time, three weeks and four weeks. So we're adding this liquidity here, $50. We're in, we'll go add position again. I'm gonna go with a curve this time, turn off autofill and I'm gonna do the remainder. So I'll be doing more on buying and selling here. I will have to change the parameters as the price changes. So I'll make a reminder and I'll do this probably once or twice daily. Now the fees that they're currently earning are a decent amount of a fee and the trading volume is $1 million in the last 24 hours. Now with Meteora, if you're unsure of how to use it, you can watch my tutorial. It is the best tutorial on Solana. It won a prize for it, so go and check it out. Just remember you get Met points when you use Meteora. There's no UI that shows you this, but you do get Met points. That's all for today. Remember to go and vote. Stay curious. Catch you in the next video.